a jewellery expert, is going to tell us about this tiara, which is quite impressive. This is uh, this caught my eye. I think probably because of the pearl and the centre being so large. But what is fantastic about the pearl that um, because of its size, usually the oyster sort of is going to die a bit and doesn't uh, produce such good nacre. And, it's, and pearls are all about their luster. And this has got a fantastic luster about them for the size of it and to still have that luster and to have the two matching colours either side of the pearls. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And it's made by Chomé. Who are tiara makers. Oh par excellence. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all made of platinum. 1920s. I mean, it was the height of the tiara fashion. Um, you can just imagine going to the going to the ball or the opening of Parliament wearing something. Holding so your head very high. Makes you stand very tall. I bet it does. Also in this two-day sale are the jewels of Susan Belperon, and um, Joanna's a particular fan of Susan's work. Suzanne Belperon actually started off life working with René Boivin, in fact with his wife, Jean Boivin, when she took over the business from, from René after he died. This is, you know, we're talking 1920s, 1930s. So this was so forward-looking oh, in yes. its design. Well, this is after she worked with um, René Boivin, with Jean Bravo. And she then decided to go off on her own and become a jewellery designer in her own right. Her signature is using different types of stones um, to, you know, here we've got this beautiful rock crystal sort of suspending this diamond. It seems to float, doesn't it? And it seems yeah. like it's, I mean, it's, she's had very tiny fingers, I must say, because <laughs> I can hardly get it on my little finger here. <laughs> and this is all her own personal collection that's also for sale in the, in the sale in Geneva. We're on a rock, rock crystal theme here, and this is a fantastic brooch. And in fact, in the catalogue, she's, she's photographed wearing it, but she had a pair. So, I mean, and just the one on its own. I mean, look how that looks against my pink jacket. Fantastic. <laughs> so here I have on my end of my little finger, so my goodness, she must have, her fingers must have been stick insects. This beautiful engagement ring made of 18 karat gold was set with a an cushion-shaped diamond. And, and she wore this every day? And she wore this every day. And for its time, it would have been a very mm. large ring. Yes, absolutely. Very bold. And all her, mm. all her style is very, very bold. Right. And there's a lot of interest in her at the yes, moment. Yes, there's a lot of it. Because she was quite a hidden um, talent, I suppose, and people have always gone for the signatures. But now um, she's coming into her own, and I think this sale is going to really reflect that. This sapphire, I mean, this is a sapphire. I mean, this is one of the best sapphire colors I've seen. What you have here is that because of the hardness, um, you've, you've got that um, brilliance of fire and dispersion. The ability to facet it that way as well. And the ability to facet that way too. So I think this is well, this very is very special. Yes, absolutely. Never ending, isn't it? And then here you've got but this whole set is this all whole sapphires. set is all sapphires and diamonds. So you've got yellow sapphires, pink sapphires, and the blue sapphire. And are they all salon? And they're all salon, yes. And they're all natural colour. An awful lot of sapphires and rubies today. I would say about ninety-five percent are heat treated. Their colour is then intensified. Uh, but these have not been touched at all. It's as nature intended.